Divers, Alec Pierce Scuba, happy birthday to you. No, no, it's not my birthday. It's not your birthday, but today we're going to talk about neat, inexpensive gifts for the scuba diver. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, neat stuff that you may not know about and inexpensive. I know people say scuba diving is expensive, but it's not. There's all kinds of junk here. That's cheap. Anywhere from $5 to $50, all kinds of stuff. I just walked around the dive store and in 10 minutes I had a box full of stuff. There's lots more. What was that? Anyway, um, we're all set. So um, now, Kevin told me to tell you folks this is the end of season five. I'm sorry. <sighs> end of season five. Now, what I mean, what I, I think what that, he didn't tell me, I think what that means is we'll be starting season six soon because tech tips will go on and on and on. Tech tips is really good. I get so many comments and suggestions from you guys. So thank you very, very much. It's great. And, uh, and I enjoy it very much as well. I enjoy the, 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 uh, the communication between people. People call up all the time and ask me, what about this? Can I do that? And can I wear one blue fin and one yellow fin? I had to think about that and check the books. I'm kidding. But I do love that communication. It's a lot of fun. So keep those comments and suggestions coming. Okay, so it's your husband's birthday coming up, or your wife's birthday, or your son's birthday. He just became a diver, or it's Christmas. You're looking for stocking stivers. It doesn't matter what it is. You got divers in the family, and you want to get some little gifts, little stuff, not expensive stuff. You want to want to buy a tank or an underwater camera. So you want a lot of little, neat little things. That's what I like to do. I like to buy for for, for my family and, and my friends. Uh, I, I I buy several little things that hopefully are neat that they don't have. And they oh wow, this is really neat. Oh look, this. Is, I think it's a lot more fun. Certainly for Christmas and for birthdays, it's a great Father's Day, Mother's Day, and so on. So if you are looking for some little gift for a diver, even if you're not a diver, of course, if you're not a diver, you're probably not watching me right now. But anyway, you know what I mean. Gifts for scuba divers. Inexpensive and neat. All right, here we go. You ready? Okay, right off the bat, every scuba diver uses a mouthpiece every time he goes diving. Some scuba divers use the same mouthpiece for year after year after year after year. And you can tell. Because when you look at their mouthpiece, it looks like a dog's toy. Yeah, a, a dog who, who, who has sharp teeth has been playing with that toy for a long time. So one thing right off the bat is you can buy a mouthpiece. You can say, well, how do I know what size? Well, they want to come on one size. Now, assuming that he's an adult, because the mouth bits, they do have a regular standard and a little smaller for small people uh, who may have small mouth. But otherwise, they're all the same. So this mouthpiece, this mouthpiece will fit every regulator made. Problem you have is what color do I buy? This is bright yellow, green, pink, blue. Sometimes they're two tone. They have a, a clear silicone body and they have blue bits on it. So a mouthpiece right out the bat, 10 bucks. And you got a great, brand new, nice, clean mouthpiece. Any diver would love that if they had the mouthpiece or any length of time. Okay, here we go. Here's more. There's lots of them. You're going to any dive store and there should be lots of this kind of, I call it junk, but you know what I mean. It's not junk, it's good stuff. So this is a computer protector. Um, Eight bucks, eight bucks, and what you get, you don't get much in here, but this is actually very good. It's actually a technological piece. It's a little piece of mylar, very, very tough mylar. It's hard, you know, it's, it's not glass, but it's very, very tough. And, and they have universal kits that fit any uh, dive computer, but if you know which dive computer your dive buddy has, then you can buy the right one. So for a few dollars, you can get a protective cover for his dive computer. And that's a really good idea. Why is it a really good idea? Well, it's a really good idea because a protective cover will protect his computer. If his computer face gets scratched, he has to replace it. There's no way to fix it. So this goes on the computer face to protect it, just like you might have a cover on your, uh, your, on your phone, on your cellular phone. Now, it doesn't even matter if he has one already. Because these get scratched and every year or two years, depending on how much it has to replace it. Good idea. Okay. And I don't know if you've been close to your buddy uh, when he took off his wetsuit or his boots after a long time. I'm not sure if you have. But if he's been diving for quite a while and he's been wearing the same equipment for quite a while, then you make sure you get him a couple of these. There's a couple of different ones. This one is called, quite appropriately, Sink the Stink. <laughs> Sink the Stink. And this one is uh, Mirazim by a company called Magnet. They make a lot of, uh, of chemicals for all kinds of sports, including a whole raft of chemicals for, how do they call it a raft of chemicals? Where do they get that? Anyway, a whole bunch of chemicals for, uh, for scuba divers, okay? Uh, they have a, a mass cleaner, mass defog, wetsuit cleaners, and this, see these little packs? They're like two bucks a piece. And either one of these will sink the stink. So he puts this in with his wetsuit or his boots and water, just lets it sit, or he washes it. These are handy, get some of those. Now here's a neat little device. 
I must have sold a million of these. Ah, maybe that's an exaggeration. I don't like exaggeration. I used to tell my kids, you know, and I've told you a million times not to exaggerate. They never got the uh, the, uh, the irony or the. Uh, so this this is a little scuba tank. Isn't that good? Now you don't get much air. No, it's not. A, it's just a, a key ring. You can put it on your dive bag, on the, on the, on the zip of the dive bag. Now, that's kind of a neat little thing, huh? but that's not what you're buying. No, no. For a few dollars, what you do is you get this little container. It's actually a container. Unscrew the bottom, and out falls a bunch of O-rings. Yes, right. All the standard O-rings for your tank valve and several for the regulator and other places where you might have an O-ring that all of a sudden is bad, starts to leak on a dive, and so on. All these O-rings fit inside, and the cap... Check this out. The cap has a little O-ring pick. That's what they're called. It's a little sharp brass thing you use to get the O-ring out. So this is an O-ring container and pick. And it looks like a little tank. You know, oh, that's so nice. It's a scuba tank. Thank you, dear. And you say, look inside. And you'll be really, really pleased. This is very, very useful, very, very helpful for any kind of a diver. Along the same line, something small is, is this uh, Dan. This is from Dan. Uh, uh, D-A-N, Divers Alert Network, they teach first aid. This is a neat little thing. And if, if, you're, if your dive buddy is a rescue diver or a dive master or an instructor, these are really handy. Because inside of this is a mask, a safety mask. It's over your face if you're helping someone, if you're affecting a rescue and giving somebody uh, artificial respiration. And these, these masks are the ones that are recommended. I won't take it out because you get it out, you'll never get it back in. But this mask comes out and it goes over your face and protects you so that uh, for, from any, any, anything that could be hazardous as you're trying to help the other divers. So that's a handy thing to just a few bucks. Now here's one that's kind of neat. Again, a few dollars. What is this? Clips onto the belt, goes into the BC, it's got a clip on it and so on. And whoop, pull that up like that. Oh, yes, I should pull it up, just pull it out. Look, oh, what is that? This is a line cutter or a belt cutter. Now, you know weight belt. You know the, the, the weight belt, the, the, the webbing? For, you know how tough that is? Have you tried to cut that? I've tried to cut that with a knife, don't work. I've tried to cut it with scissors, don't work. Uh, the only thing that, for me that works is something really hot. So I use my soldering iron. And I uh, burn through. It's really, really tough stuff. Now, if you have one of these, you see it slides up in there, and there's actually a razor blade up in there, and it cuts right through that. These are often used, uh, you, you can get these at, at uh, Harbor Freight or uh, uh, Auto Parts and so on. These are often sold as a weight belt cutter. Weight belt. A seat belt cutter. Yes, if you're trapped in a car. You can use it, actually cuts through seat belts. Uh, but I think it's a much more practical and useful for divers. It'll cut anything. Fishing line, you know, you some you get, you know, you get monofilament, cut it off, line, and of course it will cut way bus. Nice little gift there. Uh, a lanyard. Every diver needs a lanyard for something, whether it's a camera or a sleigh or as light as dive light. Lanyards. And these are this one's a particularly good one. I'll tell you why it's a good one. First of all, the line, the rope that's on it, if you like, is really good. Hard, hard braided. But the wrist part is a nice hard, it's strong, but it's flexible. Nice and flexible on his wrist. It doesn't jam on the wrist, okay? Also, it's nice and bright. When you're buying accessories for your diver, try to get bright colors. And of course, it has a barrel lock on there as well, so he can tighten it up on his wrist and let the, whatever it is he's got on the end. So, a lanyard. Lanyard's a good thing to have. Here's a little neat little device that you can get for your diver. And this is related to clips of hooking things on. You don't see these very often. Not too many dive stores have them, but what is this? I'll show you what this is. This is pretty neat. This is actually a wire, okay? Copper wire inside of this this heavy heavy plastic caps on the end, and this is really really handy because you can hook this on a you can hook this onto your BC up here and hang something on it. It's a universal clip. You could put this around your octopus, your safe second mouthpiece, hook it onto your BC. As soon as he pulls on it, it just comes off. This is the handiest little thing, and not too many dive stores have this. You may have to call Scuba Two Thousand to get these, and they'll tell you where to get them. But maybe your dive store will have them. two bucks, two bucks. For one of these universal clip hanger things. And what else? Will we, okay, this is kind of handy. $20. Come on. $20. Spend $20 on your best friend. This is a marker light. Yeah, it is. You know, some divers use chemical lights, little silums in here. Snap them and shake them, and they get a nice green light, and they use them for a night dive or cave diving, even sometimes in the daytime if it's dull. Well, this is the same thing, except no chemicals. That's right. It has batteries. You see the batteries in there. Three little batteries. Put it in. Turn it on. They come flashing or not. 
solid, flashing or solid, and they come in different colors, green, white, red, blue, and so on. Okay, uh, uh, so don't get the blue one. Blue ones don't work on the white, you can't see the blue. But this is it, it's got a lanyard, so you clip it onto your wrist or clip it onto your BC or clip it onto your tank valve, and it goes around and you can see your buddy all the time. Now, I'm gonna show you another marker that is really slick. I bet you your buddy has not seen one of these. This comes from Innovative. Any any really good dive store will, will have this or they'll get it. Look at this, you see this? A little cord which is tied onto your tank valve because these, these hang on the tank valve behind your head. And that's it, no switches, no batteries, Nothing can go wrong. It can't break. What is it? Well, watch. You ready? You ready to be amazed? It blinks. Take it out. It stops. You see that? Automatic. Perfect for divers. They don't have to do anything. Just like that. It's that easy. Yeah, there's two wires at the bottom. And if you touch them and wet, it blinks. If it's not wet, it'll last forever. It's supposed to be good for 500 hours. Night dives are typically half an hour. It's a thousand night dives. Great little thing, 20 bucks, maybe $20 if that much. Okay, what else we got? Okay, there is actually a complete save a dive kit. These are good, 20 bucks. And you get a save a dive kit. Now this save a dive kit has uh, a, a spare O-rings, spare mouthpiece, because of a mouthpiece, you get, sometimes they get bitten off. It has a snorkel keeper. It has a mass strap. It has uh, tie wraps, you know, zip ties, lots of lots of things we use those for as scuba divers. It has a fin strap. Everything is in here. I mean, actually, there's room for more than this. You can actually put one of your tools. There's a little tool I'll show you in a second. That'll actually fit in here, too. And these are great. Lots of room in there. And, and you stick this in your buddy. You know, your buddy puts it in his dive bag. You step on this. Doesn't matter. That's the nicest thing. But the little case is the nicest thing. It's tough. So in the dive bag and forget about it until you need something, right? And then you, oh, I got a spare strap here to here. Put this on. Save a dive kit. That's what it's called. 20 bucks. Save a dive kit. A dive flag. I don't know. If your buddy has a boat in particular, a dive flag, a standard dive flag, it'd be great. They're a few dollars. They're a dive flag. They're kind of neat. What else we got here, uh, Kevin? Okay. What's this? Oh, I know. This is, this is really pretty neat. This looks like that little uh, scuba tank earlier, but it's not. Okay. So this is pretty neat. You put your hose. It could be your safe second hose. It could be your SPG hose. It could be any hose that you want held close to your body, but handy, okay? Good for the octopus, safe second. You put the hose through here, two screws, put the hose through there, screw it on nice and tightly. Then this clips onto your BC. There you go. And when you need to take that item off, you pull. Yeah. Magnetic. Don't get your finger caught in it. Oh, this one isn't. This is a little ball, the new one. Got a little ball on there, a little ball. But they had these magnetic too. You know, sometimes the ball is better because the magnetic ones, I know some people had them and they said it was messing up with their compass. The little ball, little ball in place. Just snap it back together. Look at that. How's that for a neat clip? Okay, safe second. There it goes. You can go in almost any dive store and look around almost any dive store and you'll find all kinds of stuff like this. Stuff that's different. Anti fog. Does your dive buddy complain about his mask fogging up all the time? He hasn't cleaned it properly. He probably isn't using a decent anti-fog solution. But get him this. This is a film, kind of like um, the film that that uh, people put on their car windows to, to tint, like tint film. You know, tint film. Same type of thing. Clean, all the instructions are in there. Clean the mask very carefully. Put the film in. Smooth it on, and then the mask won't fog up anymore. I've not used this. Uh, I don't know. It might work. Okay. Uh, how's your, how is your dive buddy? How is your how are his eyes? Is he young? Or is he an old guy like me? I'm almost 70 years old. My eyes are perfect. See? <laughs> They're perfect as long as everything is a foot away or a yard away, a yard away. Anything closer than the yard, I can't see it very well. So I can just barely see this. But I do use a set of these. These are called attach a lens. See it? Attach a lens. You can get these in different strengths, you know. Um, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, like that. And they're for reading. And you see they're little half moon shaped things. And these are excellent. I use them and lots of divers have used them. And you clean your mask very, and instructions are in there. Clean the mask very carefully. Take the lens out, you position it in your mask where we be appropriate so you can swim around and look at the pretty fish. But when you look down at your computer or you look down into your camera digital screen, you're looking through the lens. Reading lenses for the mask, 20 bucks. A slate. Slates are always handy. If your buddy doesn't have a slate, get him a slate. Got a, get, a, get one like this. He's got a clip so he can clip it onto his BC. You might stick it in the pocket, but clip it onto. It comes with a pencil, and it's just simple. Keep it simple. There's slates out there with three or four pages, and they flip. I guess if you're an author, 
and you're working on a new novel. I don't know, but keep it simple. Nice, simple slate like this, four, four inches by six inches with a, with a pencil and a clip just like that, 10 bucks. Oh, here's handy. Does your, does your buddy take uh, pictures? Is he a photographer, a videographer? Photographer's kit for underwater. Special, um, there's a blower and, and there's uh, cleaning solutions and there's, uh, there's uh, uh, Q-tips, and uh, oh, uh, this, is, this is for a photographer, 15 bucks. And it's got everything in there that an underwater photographer would need for keeping his, uh, his uh, camera or video camera or steel camera in good shape. Okay, here's some nice ones here. A couple of things. This is called an adjuster strap. This replaces his mask strap. Can you hear me okay, Kevin, or is that, you know, that noise I'm making? Messing up. Kevin got some expensive new microphones so that you guys could all enjoy my wonderful voice. But they're very sensitive. So this, you, you replace the strap on your mask. <laughs> it's kind of neat. This is several things. If you have a lot of hair, I don't use one of these. That wasn't very nice. If you have a lot of hair, the mask strap goes up and down or it gets caught in your hair. You know what I'm talking about, ladies. So this, you see, sits in the back of your head, straps onto your mask. Kind of neat. Looks good, too. Um, this, there's another one, a different type. That's a, a, just a strap. It actually is a strap. You replace your mask strap with it. This one, a little bit different. I like this one, actually. This one, your original mask strap <clears throat> goes through this. You see? Like that. So this is on your original mask strap. So you don't have to give up your original mask strap and the adjustment. Same type of thing. Okay? Mask strap pad, we'll call that. Silicone grease. Every diver at some time is going to need silicone grease. Christmas present. Birthday gift. Stocking stuffer. Silicone grease, 10 bucks for a year's supply. Logbook. Logbooks used to be really boring. Check this out. And they have all kinds of different logbooks too with uh, attractive divers on the front. Not like Kevin, but attractive divers on the front. And uh, different scenes like this one, 10 bucks for a nice logbook. He'll need it. If he doesn't need it now, he will need it eventually. And, and oh, there's another one here. $20. <clears throat> what is this? This clips inside his BC or hangs on his belt. And it's a little, it's a little nylon sack. And if you need it, if you don't need it, you leave it in there. It never comes out. But if you do need a safety marker, yes, you're out there and all of a sudden you come to the service and you're a long ways in the boat. There you go. Safety marker. Blow it up. Pops to the surface and marks you so you can hold it up and the boat can see you, particularly if it's rough water. Great little gift. Two pound weight belt. Nothing says I love you than two pounds of lead. There you go. <laughs> Two pound soft weights. These are great in, 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 in BCs that are weight integrated, which most BCs are now. So, uh, you know, a couple of two pound weights and you're all set to go. So there you go. I walked around the store. Well, oh, the hat. oh, yes, yes. I should have put this on first. If your diver, if, you're, if your dive buddy has a hairline like mine, he'll probably really appreciate this. I have to wear a hat when I'm down south. So, scuba diver said, it's made of neoprene. It's actually kind of neat because one thing I found is get it wet. Yeah, throw it in the pool or at, 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 at the, uh, up in your room, get it soaking wet. And then put it on. Oh, you're cool for the whole day. Eh? Am I cool? No, my head is cool. Anyway, it keeps you cool all day long. So a little, a little cap. So I just walked around the dive store. And, you know, this is a nice dive store with lots of junk out there. I just walked around with a box in my hand and I just picked stuff off and threw it in. I didn't even look too hard. So if, if you if you have uh, if, if you have got a birthday or Christmas is coming or father or anything else for a dive buddy of yours, okay, head to the dive store. There should be the, the clerks, staff there will help you. There should be, what have I got? I got 20, 24, 25 items there. $20. Anywhere from 10 to $20. So it's a lot of fun. There's a couple of ideas anyway, guys. I don't know if that helped you particularly, but, but maybe you enjoyed it. Maybe you saw a couple of things you hadn't seen before. I hope so. I hope you found it interesting. Okay, Alec Pierce Tech Tips, Alec Pierce Scuba. Hope to see you all real soon again.